So who are you fighting next? Uh, Rafael Natal yeah. from Enzo Gracie. Stop it. I don't know much about him. I don't think he's either. He's a uh, more of a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist. Um, tough fighter. He's had a lot of uh, good fights. He's like 12 and two. Um, you know, a bunch of submissions. Likes to stand and bang. So I'm excited for this fight. I think it's going to be a uh, uh, good, good, strong, tough, aggressive fight. Kind of fight. Uh, you know, fans are going to enjoy. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. You got, you got any special training regimens for it? Do you anything special? Um, Don't give us the secrets or anything. Yeah, like no, uh, <laughs> without giving any secrets away, just you know, I make sure I'm prepared for anywhere the fight's going to go. I train really hard every day. Um, you know, strict diet, conditioning program, and uh, you know, work on the game plan for what it's going to be for the fight, and uh, you know, just come ready to uh, come ready for war. And, you know, a couple more weeks of training like this, I'll be ready to eat lead and uh, spit spit bullets. Is Ricardo the one? Is Ricardo the one who uh, is like on your case the most? Uh, yeah, I mean, all the trainers are here to push you. Um, they're all great. But, uh, you know, Laborio is uh, definitely the guy. When uh, he comes in and he gets on you, he's going to push you to your limit every single round um, until exhaustion. And he, he wants the same thing over and over and over again, and he doesn't. Uh, allow you to give anything less. So I mean, it's it's tough. It makes you uh, you know makes you feel like you want to throw up. Makes you want to quit inside. You know, test your heart and your mind. But it's the best thing to get ready for a fight. And uh, you know that way, come fight time, you know there's no uh, no adversity you can't overcome because you've already gone through it in training. And uh, you know your mind and your body is as strong as it's going to be. I wanted to go a little over the diet. With you. I'm always trying to pick up some diet tips yep. myself. Cutting weight. I hate cutting weight. <laughs> Uh, what, what kind of diet are you going um, I'm not a big fan of cutting a lot of weight either uh, prior to a prior to a fight. Uh, you know, I think that you know, you're going to cut a little bit of weight, but that shouldn't be something that's going to um, take away from your performance or deplete you too much. You know, um, so so I, I follow a. I'm always on a good diet, you know, but I eat you know six meals a day. Um, you know, it's it's more balance of calories. Uh, you know, carbohydrates. Protein, vegetables. Um, eat a lot of tilapia and spinach. With uh, you know, sweet potatoes is a staple of my diet. Uh, oatmeal. Um, you know, things things like that. I kind of know my own body at this point to where I'm comfortable with. Okay, I got to eat this much, this much, this much. And and you know, the important thing about it is consistency. Doing it every day, um, being you know, disciplined about it. And then uh, you know, as you train hard, I, I check my weight. I don't check my weight every day. Um, I'll check it every week. Good, <laughs> and, um, and it's good. And uh, yeah, come on, man. Ryan Faber's doing commercials. You guys should get me. Um, you but, and Kenny uh, Powers, right? But yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, me and Kenny Powers. Come on. So then, um, master of the demo. So then, uh, but you know, like I don't like to swallow the pills. The act of swallowing the pills sometimes, to me, makes it tougher to take it for some reason mentally. Yeah, I gotta. You know, especially in the morning or right after training. So I drink. I found you know, and, and plus, who knows how much it do, um, dissolves in your system? Yeah. Liquid goes right in. Chew, chewables. Eat, eat them up. Your body absorbs it right away. So I think taking supplements like that is, is really important. You know, where I am now, I'll get on the scale most mornings to make sure that I'm either staying that way or starting to drop a little bit more, depending on what I want to do. Um, but you know, especially far out from the fight, two months away from the fight, I focus on my diet. I don't focus on my weight, and uh, and then each week my weight will come down. Um, you know, another important part of the diet is uh, is getting your vitamins. I like to drink uh, liquid vitamins. I feel like your body absorbs it the best. I also uh, take liquid um, joint formula. You know, I think it's the best absorption for your body. It goes right into your glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM. You know, you need, you need that for all the pounding your body takes. Um, I eat like uh, like I have in my bag here. Have, uh, we're not gonna divulge who. If you want me to divulge who, they can pay me. No, um, but I, I have these glutamine chews. You know, and then uh, yeah. So you know, you need the glutamine to aid in muscle recovery. So after training or anything like that, it tastes good, man. Wild berry. I think it's good. And um, yeah, I like to go home. Lay out on my on my sectional couch. I just got one of those uh, 3D televisions. Oh, um, God, nice. Yeah. So I mean, I kind of 
I had like uh, for a long time. I had the same TV for ten years, like a two, big tube television. I told myself, you know, I'm gonna win my fight in UFC. I'm gonna treat myself to a nice flat screen, and then I ended up going a little, a little over the top and get the top of the line one. But you know, I earned it. Yeah, you go bigger, you go home. Right? Exactly. So I go home. I like to relax, watch TV, um, spend time with my wife. Um, she takes good care of me. She's the one that actually, I'm lucky, man. She cooks all my meals for me. So when I go home, I got really well-made tilapia, steamed vegetables, or grilled spinach, and, and sweet potato. I mean, she's, she's, uh, she's like the woman behind the scenes, kind of keeps me healthy, keeps me nourished. Um, and, and then that's really it, man. We go to the movies on the weekend, go to the beach. Um, just lay low, man, before a fight, especially, you know, just like to focus on what I got to do and kind of, you know, do things uh, you know, basic and simple, I guess, like anybody else, and try to, uh, you know, I, get, I allow myself one day of the week one, uh, one or two times to cheat on a, on a um, you know, I try to keep it to a Sunday. Yeah, that's another thing if you're going to diet hard. you got to allow yourself to have a, a reward. Yeah, because, you know, the thing is, is you're going to diet hard all week. And sometimes there's cravings are going to come. And, and I find when I eat healthy that, you know, typically I don't ever crave anything. But every now and then those things creep into your mind. So... Allow yourself after you know a good strong week of dieting to reward yourself with something. So, in my mind, you know, like it's a Thursday, I might be going, man, I got this kind of ice cream in my mind. I'm gonna go and get this kind of ice cream. Or, uh, you know, this week it's um, I've been for the last couple of weeks obsessed with the idea of a Krispy Kreme donut. Oh my god! So I'm gonna I'm gonna go find uh, they got a Krispy Kreme donut place here, and I'm gonna get a couple of those on Sunday and allow that. You know, it's insane a little bit. Right, yeah, and you know you reward yourself, and then you get that satisfaction of eating something like that, and um, you know it's not going to hurt you. And you're any, not really feeding for it either. Yeah, right? it's not going to hurt you on your diet if you're eating proper all the time, like you, like I am. You um, train like you do. I'm sure you. And you train too. too. In fact, if you probably if you give your body a little bit of junk like that, it, it kicks up your body's system to make it really burn it off because it's so different than what you've been eating. Um, so that's pretty much it. And then I, I treat myself on a Sunday morning breakfast, some pancakes. Pancakes, pastries. I like. I like that. That's about it today. So, well, thanks a lot, man. My Joe, pleasure, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for. I appreciate having it. Me. <laughs> of Rich Antonito is fighting Rafael. UFC. Nicole. UFC. <laughs> Ultimate Fight Night, Austin, Texas, Austin, September 15th. Come on, do it. <laughs>